And while Trudeau's travels kept him away from Ottawa, thousands of other Canadians gathered at the National War Memorial, as they do every year. They honoured the sacrifices of the men and women who fought and still fight for our freedom. CTV's Annie Bergeron Oliver has that story tonight. At the 11th hour of the 11th day, with heads bowed in the bitter cold, thousands reflected on heroic sacrifices. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. A dedication and a selflessness spanning generations. My father served in World War I, was wounded in Ypres in 1916, came back to Canada in 17, and he was all right, but he had a severe wound, shrapnel wound in the shoulder. I have a lot of uh, family who have served in the military, so like it's just a small way of you know paying my effects. The statue with the National War Memorial, a reminder that Canada was forged in the trenches of the Great War, a battle reenactors brought to life. Well, my uh, great great grandfather, he, he fought at Vimy and his brother fought at Vimy in the same uniform he wore. The somber event also recognizing soldiers who died not in combat, but by suicide. Inspire us to care for all military personnel who are wounded in body mind and soul. This year's Silver Cross mother, Anita Santorini, laying a wreath for her son, Afghan veteran Private Thomas Welch, and all the other military families who've lost a child to suicide. Soldiers are wounded and hurt in many different ways, and her son served honorably, uh, died so. A sign of progress for veterans who have mourned colleagues. I think it's very important that we are recognizing those unseen injuries that manifest themselves sometimes years after the uh, the events. Some of the more touching tributes happened here at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier and what's become an annual tradition of leaving poppies behind as a sign of gratitude. Sandy. Annie, thank you.